When Zelda and Sheik debuted in Melee, they introduced a new character mechanic, Transformations. Zelda and Sheik could swap into one another by using their down specials, allowing the player to essentially switch characters mid-match. We'd see this mechanic even more in Brawl. Zelda and Sheik remained this way, Samus could transform into Zero Suit Samus via a few methods, and we also got the first and only character with three total transformations. Yes, we're of course talking about Pokemon Trainer. Although the character name is Pokemon Trainer, this choice actually lets you take control of three Pokemon, much like how a trainer commands their mons in Pokemon games. The trainer themselves is technically present during the game too, but sitting comfortably out of harm in the deep recesses of the Z-axis. Trainer's Pokemon lineup is a celebration of the original Pokemon Red and Blue starters, but with a unique twist. With the selection of Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard, Trainer includes all three starters with each at a different evolution level. Like with Sheik and Zelda, Trainer could swap Pokemon by inputting Down Special, and in Brawl, this was something you'd absolutely want to do. Brawl's Trainer had a stamina mechanic, which meant that after a minute and 20 seconds of using one Pokemon, its damage and knockback would be reduced. This essentially forced players to swap Pokemon even if the matchup favored the current choice. Swapping Pokemon also created a vulnerability window that could be punished, so this stamina and fatigue would be a large hindrance for trainer players in Brawl. Trainer danced between low and mid-tier throughout Brawl's competitive lifespan, but the Reflex Wonder was able to get some notable results with this iconic trio, leaving some more positive impressions of them. When Smash 4 came around, Nintendo made a clear effort to separate previously tethered characters, like Sheik and Zelda, into their own slots. With no more transformations, Pokemon Trainer was a practical impossibility for that game, so the devs decided to leave the fan-favorite Charizard as his own character. Since Down Special was Trainer's swap button, Charizard received a new attack, with his side special becoming the iconic Flare Blitz, and Rock Smash moved to his Down Special. Competitively, Charizard didn't perform too well, as a character designed to be the slow, heavy hitter in a squad including faster characters like Squirtle, Charizard was missing the tools to deal with many matchups and situations on his own. Despite being mid-tier at best, Zard had many dedicated mains in Smash 4, such as commentator Virum. Meanwhile, Squirtle and Ivysaur were sadly left behind, but they'd have their time to shine soon. Smash Ultimate's Everyone Is Here motif posed a conundrum for Trainer, because solo Charizard would technically be cut if Trainer returned. Nevertheless, the developers decided to restore Pokemon Trainer to its former glory, transformations and all. Charizard's Rock Smash was removed for good, but Ultimate's Trainer received countless buffs compared to Brawl and has seen excellent results in competitive play. So for our question of the day, you know where we're going with this, do you think Pokemon Trainer is high tier or top tier? As always, let us know down in the comments and stay tuned to learn more. If you want to become a Pokemon Trainer Master yourself, or learn how to master any character, we've got the resources you need on ProGuides.com. There you can check out our InstaPro feature to hook yourself up with a personal coach to train with, or tune into our live classes for a chance to play with the pros. We're also constantly updating our site with new courses and guides, so check out ProGuides.com today! In Smash Ultimate, Pokemon Trainer has had plenty of success in competitive play. Pushed in the early meta by Leffen, Trainer gradually became one of the most commonly played characters among PGR ranked players. Names like Wishes, Pandarian, and Hikaru all began to achieve results with the trio, and Tweak would go on to raise them to even greater heights. Tweak placed first at low tier City 7 with Trainer, as well as taking the character to second place at Evo and third at Super Smash Con 2019. World number one MK Leo has even stated that he thinks Pokemon Trainer could be the best character in the game. It's really good. I think it's the best in the game. Pokemon Trainer? Yeah. <laughs> but a lack of big wins leads some to still underrate this character. So for starters, what makes Trainer good? This was a low tier character in Brawl after all. Before we even get into the specific strengths of each Pokemon, Trainer's universal mechanics offer many advantages, especially compared to Brawl. For starters, the stamina system and elemental weaknesses from Brawl have been completely removed, so you can essentially play Trainer as any Pokemon for as long as you like. Respawning after a death will still transfer you to the next Mon, but the swapping process is better than ever. Changing Pokemon with down specials intangible on frame 1, making it even faster than an air dodge, and it stalls your descent as well. Swapping is also very quick and has little cooldown, allowing for a fluid change during fast paced scenarios. There is a window of time after changing Pokemon before you can change again, but players discovered that this can be bypassed by performing any special move, so relatively fast Pokemon cycles are possible. 
without being forced to swap unnecessarily, having three characters to choose from mid-game is very useful. Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard vary greatly, not just in moveset, but in mobility, size, and weight. This makes Trainer an exceptionally versatile character that can perform well in just about any matchup and presents a challenge for opponents who must be familiar with three different matchups and be prepared to switch at any moment. Taking a closer look at the Pokémon themselves, each has unique strengths that make them better suited for specific situations and matchups. As a starter Pokémon, Squirtle is fittingly the most commonly used to start a match. Squirtle has decent mobility, excellent frame data, and a very small hurtbox. These attributes make him very formidable and neutral, and his ability as an opener is augmented by his vast early percent combo gain. Squirtle is great at whiff punishing, and has multiple routes from a grab or dash attack to take the opponents to mid percents. Squirtle will struggle to kill, and his lightweight leads him to lose stocks fairly early, so players will often switch to Ivysaur after getting some opening damage with Squirtle. Even so, Squirtle's small frame and safe moveset makes him a good pick in almost any situation. Like his fellow trainer Pokémon, he has an excellent out-of-shield game, and can pressure shields just as effectively. His forward tilt is a go-to option in neutral, starting combos at low percents and tech chases at high percents. Squirtle is also not too shabby at edge guarding. His down tilt is a solid tool for two-framing, and the multi-hit nature of his down and back air create tricky tech situations offstage. When it comes time to recover, Squirtle's up B is extremely disjointed, so edge guarding him will leave most players getting wet instead of getting a stock. Just when you've gotten used to Squirtle's barrage of small, weak attacks, Ivysaur comes in like the photosynthesizing truck he is. Ivysaur hits hard, sometimes even harder than Charizard, who typically takes the closer role. With one of the strongest and largest up airs in the game, landing against this creature will prove a terrifying task at any percent. Being off stage is just about as scary, since Ivysaur's down air is possibly the easiest spike to land through the stage. Although he certainly has become infamous for these moves, Ivysaur is more than just up air and down air the character. His Razor Leaf projectile gives him the best zoning abilities of the trainer lineup, which can be excellent in matchups where keep away gameplay wins neutral. Ivy's combo potential may not match Squirtle's in most situations, but it's not too shabby either. He can also start combos from a grab and has numerous kill confirms into his up air or up B. Speaking of up B, Ivysaur's Vine Whip is vastly superior to its Brawl incarnation. For recovery, Vine Whip is a tether with very long range. When used offensively, however, the sweet spot of this move is very powerful, especially when connected near the side blast zone. This increases the potency of Ivysaur's juggling abilities, as drifting away from his up air will often put you in range of his up B. When percents get high, trainer players will often switch to Charizard. Charizard is the heaviest of the three Pokémon, and arguably the best at closing out stocks. His frame data isn't amazing, but his ground speed is actually even faster than Squirtle's. Charizard strikes fear into his opponents via his multitude of kill options in neutral. His back air has tons of range and can be mixed up quite a bit with his additional double jump. The sweet spot of this move is extremely powerful and almost never worth challenging. At ledge or even just in neutral, Zard's forward tilt is another kill option that's pretty safe to throw out. Using pivot cancels, he can chase down retreating opponents with this move. Charizard is a big target, however, so he'll be forced to shield quite a bit. Fortunately, he has an amazing out-of-shield game. For starters, Zard's grab range is fantastic, and his forward, back, and up throws all kill. Next, his up smash is blazing fast at frame 6, acting as an excellent punish or anti-aerial. If a more risky punish is reasonable, his up B is also a powerful kill option, with super armor starting on frame 4. The armor on fly makes it a great recovery move too, allowing Zard to go deep off stage for edge guards with his additional jump. Naturally, we have to address the downsides as well. Each Pokémon has their own weaknesses, so none of them are as viable on their own. Squirtle is light and struggles to kill with anything besides a raw smash attack, Ivysaur is slow and has a poor disadvantage state, and Charizard is easy to hit and gets comboed to bits. Beyond their independent weaknesses, Maining Trainer also requires the player to learn and master all three characters. This is a challenge alone, but becomes a greater difficulty when the player must adapt to a completely different character in an instant, and also must possess the decision-making skills of when a Pokémon swap is the right call for the situation. In the hands of a top player like Tweak, none of this is a big deal, so it's probably the lack of more recent results that lead players to sell trainers short. A big reason for that drop in results is simply Tweak's personal preference to play other characters, but other trainer mains continue to do very well at their skill levels. Pokémon Trainer is a deep and versatile character that has some huge wins and lots of high-level representation. Furthermore, Trainer is considered top-tier on almost every top player's personal tier list, 
so all things considered, we think this one's a no-brainer. Pokemon Trainer is top tier. Do you agree? I've been your host, G5 Cosmos of Game 5 Smash. Make sure to subscribe to Pro Guides and turn on notifications, and we'll catch you in the next video.